Hello and welcome to another GLG Let's Play. Uh, today we'll be playing Company of Heroes with the Blitzkrieg mod version 4.8.2. Um, something that I also recently added was this historical add-on. Um, you can see the little icon here on the main menu screen. And uh, what this is going to do is going to add the actual um, unit uh, insignias. And it's going to change a lot of the uh, unit icons and some of the textures and stuff to uh, reflect the actual it's insignia and flags of the actual uh, units. So, today, um, I recently got this new map pack. I added a bunch of new maps. Um, most of them are pretty good. But today we'll be playing the Carantan 4 player map. And I will be playing as the Panzer Elite. We will be going against the Americans. We're setting all the. Uh, um, computer players too hard, so they'll actually have a better AI, and I think we'll get a better experience out of it. Um, we're going to set this to Annihilate with 225 population cap, fixed starting positions, high resources, kick the game off a little bit faster, and I think we are ready to go. Start. Alright, so a little bit of background. The reason I'm picking Carantan is because, as the Panzer Elite, we'll be playing as a Luftwaffe. Uh, more importantly, um, the Fallschirmjäger, and we're doing this because in on June 10th, I believe, 1944, the Allies descended upon the village of Carentan, or town, however you want to call it, in uh, northern France in Normandy. Um, Carentan reflected the linking point between the Utah and Omaha beachheads, which were the American... Uh, beachheads. So the Germans recognize this Carantan as being the last effort to keep those two beachheads divided. Um, on June 10th, the Americans captured Carantan, and on June 11th, the Germans unsuccessfully counterattacked. So um, this game isn't 100% accurate, but I think we can get a pretty good, you know, uh, experience in a scenario out of this, uh, and I think we'll enjoy it. So. We already have our Kampfgruppe company complete. We're building um, our assault grenadiers and a machine gun squad because what we're going to do with the machine gun squad, here's Carantan here. This is a sort of a uh, microcosm representing the village. So the Germans actually start on the outside and the uh, Americans start on the outside as well. It, um, here we go, now this is built. We want this 30, pack 38, um, recently become one of my favorite, favorite weapons because you can camouflage it. It's actually uh, pretty effective against light armor especially, uh, pretty, pretty effective against medium uh, armor as well. So, um, we're going to have our assault grenadiers get out there and uh, start really capturing some of these points. We should have no shortage of fuel on this map. Because if you look, um, we have quite a few fuel points around here. So if you've seen my other videos, it's pack 38. Let's put it... So I was looking at the map. I feel like the... Um, the best routes for the enemy armor is um, on the two outside paths of the city. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll try to put some sort of a barrier or something in between. I think this has to be good to put this machine gun in. Kind of provide a little bit of machine gun support on that right side. And we build our infantry support center. I'm leaving a gap here so I can put the uh, like the Panzer support command, Panzer Jaeger command. Command, I mean. Okay, that is captured. Let's capture this fuel point. Is that Allah? Yeah, that's one of those little. Uh, what do they call them? Kettlegrad. Kettle Kettengrad. Ket 
It's like a half track motorcycle. Who thought of that thing or how it works? Who knows? The thing looks bizarre. But, you know, it works. He should be camouflaged. So he's in a good position, you know, to provide a lot of cover on the outside here. Um, infantry support center complete. We can get the logistic company upgrade. And as soon as that's done, we can start producing the Panzer Jaeger command. Alright, we already have units. Just a little bit out of range of that machine gun. Should have probably built that another a second pack 38 prior to, but that's okay. I'm already going to select the Luftwaffe tactics, and my priority is going to be getting these Luftlander pioneers, which are members of the Luftwaffe ground forces. Okay, now what I want is to put a um, some of these slit trenches in here. See, we already have some jeeps. don't think it's in range of that gun yet, so I'm going to pull these guys back. There's no sense in having them engage that um, jeep, because they don't have any anti-vehicle um, capability. Panzer Jaeger command, you can build there. Now, what I can build now is the Martyr 3, which can ambush. And I really like to use this ambush positions. So, we've got that over there. We need to start putting some, some kind of anti-infantry. See, we got a machine gun. You know what I want to do is provide some sort of indirect support also. So, which means the 81mm half-track. So now we have the Marder 3. We've got to wait a little bit to get the... Uh, Oh, not enough fuel. How much do I need? 40 fuel? I don't know how well these guys are going to do. Push these guys up. And... Half track. Now I can kind of put it behind this train and that should be enough. Man, he is really laying it on with this. Rifleman squads. They're doing okay, but they definitely will not last forever. Let's see, we already have our jeep over there. So I think we have enough to build our Martyr 3 tank hunter. And as soon as I get some more points. Engage that machine gun. He does have Falschemjäger capability now. Modder is still in production. There we go. We were able to repel that infantry assault. And what I'll do with this martyr that was just completed. Let me give it these rounds here. Take a look at this. I haven't actually used one of these things in a long time. I don't play as the Luftwaffe that often. Or as the Panzer Elite, that is. And when I do, I usually choose Tank Hunter. So... Let me see if I can put him... Hmm... I'm trying to figure out the... It's difficult in this city because... So many different like directions and dropping some loot up. Pioneers. Where is he? Where is behind the windmill? Here we are. As soon as I hit 360, I can construct a fortified flak 20 millimeter. I don't know what the requirements are for getting the ambush lockdown with the Martyr 3. 
I believe you just need to be in the vicinity of like uh, leaves or debris or you know something that it can blend in. Oh, I just saw it up here. No. Trying to get him in a decent position. I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, get ambush locked down. The next thing I need is should be good on that side. I'm really need to deprive him. Please. Oh, fuel. Machine guns here. Actually, gonna retreat these guys now because they're actually hurting. Okay, we will build another. Now maybe we should get some Fallschirmjäger because they work really well in these trenches. That flag should start opening up on them. The computer likes to steal this equipment too. I had them have take it multiple times. They get these Panzer Shreks that they drop in with. See, they're really eating these guys up. That's good. Now we have Flak 88 capability. I really like to put it like right here. This is a good spot because I can hit forward, right, and left. That's all I need is if you're gonna put these emplacements in the city, which isn't a bad idea. Capture. He's doing a pretty strong infantry assault on this side. I should be able to repel it between the Fallschirmjäger FG 42s, which are excellent. As soon as these guys capture this, I should be able to build that emplacement here. I, I might have been able to place it here anyways, but I actually push my martyr up. Oh, these guys are getting unloaded on stop. No. I don't know what that was. A vehicle? Let's move the martyr in. It might be a good spot for the martyr. Oh wait, because I don't want it to be a, a waste. So once the martyr is in place. There we go. And I actually can uh, make sure my squad's back here. I'm trying to avoid clicking around too much. But sometimes it's just uh, it's a little bit unavoidable. How did he miss? No! How did. How, how did that happen? How did he kill an entire squad instantly? Oh boy, you know, I just, uh, that was, uh, I don't know if that was legitimate. 
I, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I don't think that that was legitimate. These guys are getting yeah, just a little bit. One shot with a bazooka. Wow. I encountered this a few a few games ago, um, and I believe it was the British. There's something wrong with this map. They're shooting at something up here. But um, I got attacked by a single British vehicle, and even in full cover, I had several squads of assault infantry were instantly killed. Several. I mean, in one in one bar barrage. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Maybe put this assault infantry in one of these buildings. Think about this corner building here. I think that, that would be a good place to do that. Um, this machine gun can be redeployed also. I'll probably put it in this, like, a chapel or, uh, you know, let's put it in the same building as the other one. Find a good place to put this half track. What I'm actually going to do is probably build an emplacement here. He can actually shoot down there and down here and on the sides, you know, so this is actually not a bad place. I just wanted to put it a little bit further down. I, I, you know, I really, I was planning on using these Martyr 3s and camouflaging them, but I should have realized that in the city, you know, these, there aren't uh, too many good places to camouflage them. Okay, so I have our... I'm probably going to lose these squads here. I don't know what's shooting them. Oh, tank. Got it. Don't know if there's a whole lot I can do about it right now. What I can do is... I'm going to build one of these... Uh, 50 millimeters. Okay, so now we have an 88 millimeter in the city. That will help a lot. I'm actually going to... Because these guys are here, I'll start repairing this mortar cap track. Of tanks coming in. So I might put that. That wasn't mine, was it? No. I'm trying to keep this mortar out of harm's way. Okay. Is it built yet? I usually, I usually build pretty quick. Mm -hmm. We will put him here. Alright, I need to move him in the time now. He is going to be huge. Maybe here. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to find a place to put this mortar half track that isn't completely exposed. Alright. I was really trying to put one like here. But every time I try it's destroyed. Let's see, there's another tank here. Calliope? Okay. I believe that's what those are called. Is that indirect that's on the Jeep? I hate those. Hi, that... My god. Alright. Not gonna work. Seems like every time I try to build one, he miraculously gets a mortar directly on it. Even though I think the mortar was out of sight. That's okay. That's alright. 
Let's see. You know the the, F the Luftwaffe doctrine just doesn't have a whole lot of good like anti tank capability. Let's see, he needs to he needs to get that stop the camouflage. Should be able to start laying rounds on it. Get it. Shoot. <clears throat> Let me try it with just a 20 minute. Cause see, every time he destroys one, very painful for me. Because I lose, I lose the uh, resources that it cost me to build it. That sucks. <laughs> Oh. See that? He took one mortar round, an entire squad. Perfect. I don't even know where the mortar was. He's right there. Alright, let me try to drop some rounds right here, little asshole. Every time. He really doesn't want me to build those emplacements. That's what that is. I can, let me go ahead, I'm going to pull these false from again and relocate them to the other side to support, because I'm, I'm making no, no ground over here. Is he still in place? I think, I think they're just out of range. Thinking of creeping him up. Okay, I think we got those mortars. See, I don't know. He is somehow hitting my units, and they're outside of like visual. There's no way he can see them. That's the problem. Maybe if, I'm gonna put some Falschimjäger in this house right here. It's gonna be really dangerous for them, but I don't. I'm, I'm running out of options. I gotta make some headway here. Or he, the Americans are really good at just steamrolling. Not too much resources. See what? There's some sort of like traffic jam here. Get in that building. Go, go, go. Again, I want to creep this gun up. I'm just going to kind of inch this guy up. Oh my god. This is killing me. Look at this. This right here. Go. Around. Something. See, as soon, instantly, instant reaction, as soon as I start building anything, there's an instant mortar strike right in that exact spot, and it's not him. Like, I can't build anything. And every time I kill one, there's always, you know, another one right next to him. What we need to do? Let me see if I can. Ooh, he's just in range. If I can drop 
an incendiary round on that mortar pit he has built over on that side. There we go. I think I took care of that mortar pit. There is a ridiculous traffic jam in here. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm trying to build something here, but... I mean, I, I don't have enough ammunition to have any of this be of any use to me. Get another Kalshi Mager squad and that might help. He is... Hold up, I need another 88 there. I think that mortar is doing a lot of good where he is because he's protected by those buildings. I didn't drop him in that trench where the other squad was. And watch, we'll see an instant mortar. <laughs> He's doing alright on right over here, yeah, he's doing pretty good. Is that mortar pit still unoccupied? I actually really like to kind of inch up over here, you know? Um, get a falchion to round off. I mean, a panzer shark round. This guy's almost yeah. complete. That flak isn't in the best place, but I think it'll help. This guy's really tearing him up. Need is that mortar car. Okay, I think he's in a pretty good spot to fight cover. If I can occupy that mortar pit, it actually would help me quite a bit. I think we're doing pretty good. I'm trying to. Well, I think what really helped me was. Um, denying him access to that fuel. I have no place to put this. Can't put this flak anywhere. Oh, look at that, my ally. He's a Luftwaffe also. This really is a Fallschirmjäger of Karantan. So, I'm gonna surge forward. I'm gonna draw these guys out, actually. Reinforce them and have them link up with their closely made their counterparts on this side. And see, now we have the mortar pit that we captured over here. And we're gonna capture that point too. That'll provide us a lot of, um, you know, overhead cover. I think I can reposition this half track. It's, this game can be really difficult to play, um, you know, I'm, I'm really only using infantry and emplacements. It's almost like playing like a defensive battle. These guys can do the health kits. There they go, They're healing up now. These guys need reinforcement, it's incoming. I think we're doing okay. I think we're, we're not doing too bad. Um, this, um, these pack 38s, great investment. They only cost about 230. See, we got a tank coming down over here. Um, I mean, eventually, see, I'm just worried about him running up on this pack 38. Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of, but he got one good, one good hit on him. If he can get another, 
So yeah, I'm kind of left out there. Where's my other Falschim Jaeger? I'm, I'm gonna actually go over here and clear out some of these guys. And maybe even man this... Seven, this I think that's a... Uh, no, 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 that's German. 75mm pack. Okay, this is standard infantry, so... Oh, see, they took out all the guys. That's, a, that's the priority. Need. See, I can't. I can't build a flat. Flat weapon. How's everything going on the left? Let me actually give these guys a uh, trench. And okay, let's get into camel. The shooting at like trees over here. I think whoever made this map accidentally like um I don't know, um Gave the, the the trees some sort of they made the trees and I don't know. It's a little bizarre though. See they already have this mortar over here. I'm actually gonna relocate this mortar uh, unit to this side. Okay, drop some Gebergas Jäger. And we are going to put some mines, airborne mines. There. These guys in. I just want to solidify these defenses before I move forward. Capture the 75 millimeter. Because why not? I really need like a. F For now, I'm gonna put these guys in the building. I think I can put this just about anywhere. So as long as I get one, like, something there, so... How many guys are on? Oh, five? I think that's actually an American gun. Feeding tanks over here. These guys up on the left. Let me build, um. Take the Jagdpanzer 448. Well, might be better than the, um. Let's get this guy in a good spot. Will be better than the, the Martyr 3. I've selected the Martyr 3 instead of the Martyr 1 specifically because of the ability to camouflage. The Martyr 1 has a MG42. Ok, 
came. Yeah, yeah they're able to build it, but it's not one of those fortified ones, so it's not as strong, but I think it'll work really well. See, we got another mortar pit there. These mortar pits are pain in my ass. So I'm going to see how close I need to get in order to build. Let's see what I... Ideally, I need to build another Pack 38 somewhere in here that has a lot of um, coverage. Preferably right in front. Right here. That'd be per right on the road, right into his base. That would be perfect. But I think my obstacle is going to be this mortar pit. Because that's, that's what's going to... And it's 107 millimeter. Wow, that's a big mortar. It's going to hone in on anything that I start to try to build. Might even hone in on these guys. So... That's my mortar car. If I get one, one lob out, I think that'll be pretty... These are standard infantry with VAR. There shouldn't be too much of a threat. But again, that 107 millimeter, that is a very large round. And I think he got him. I can see the the troops in there. Um, the health going down. Yep, he got him. Okay. I'm actually going to power drop some more Gebergas Jaeger. These guys, um, I think that's how you call them. Gebergas Jaeger. They're like mountain airborne, I believe. Not unlike the Falschenjäger. I need to actually bring this guy back. Did his job. Ah, they're not dead. He hurt him real good, but he didn't kill him all the way. Pain. I'm trying to click on that guy. There we go. So, let me try to get them. Let me take care of this infantry. Uh, mortar is really protecting the infantry, too. Okay, scope. I just need high explosive anti tank rounds. I'm gonna push them up on the left. Set one more to build. Okay, how are we doing here? I'm gonna attempt, as soon as the incendiary ability is done recharging, I'm gonna attempt to do it again. I still have these kinds of grenades here, I need them to repair. I can't find my. I got Panzer Grenadiers there too, I got a Panzer Grenadiers everywhere. I'm looking for the Falschum, um. What's the Falschum Jaeger? Um. Luftwaffe. Luft Pioneers. So I'm pushing my Falschum Jaeger up on the left. Geberg Jaeger on the right. They're in these houses, so they should have decent cover. And they have that MG34 too. A squad automatic weapon. Oh, it died. One, I knew it. That 107, that's a killer. That is a dangerous round. So I know this isn't completely repaired yet, but I need to get one more round, one more incendiary round on there. I really have to take care of that. And if I have to lose this half track to do it, that is uh, that is an acceptable loss. You got two Panzer Shreks in these Falschmjäger. Should be able to. Yep, do exactly what I thought they would. You need to build. And then I will move the Jagdpanzer up on the right. Good. That 107mm mortar is taken care of. I didn't lose. Yeah, see the 75mm pack. That is a um, a German one. I, I knew it was because it's a L46. He's using it, unless he commandeered it, but I don't know how he built that. I, I don't have the ability to build that. Okay, so, I mean, I'm glad he has it, that's cool, but... Moving another Jagdpanzer. Um, I actually have a lot of points here, too. I can replace that. Very Jaeger in the squad that was defeated. Looks like he's trying to push back. I'm strong left, strong right. However, 
I'm gonna move my 81 millimeter mortar up. And ideally, I'd really like to get in here and build something, but there hasn't been enough of uh, opportunity to get in there. He's got actually got quite a bit of infantry there. My ally is firing the really cool Nebel Wolfer. So let me see if I can get these guys in this building here. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push him up on the on the uh, right. So, see, so key them is two. Oops. So two. I'm gonna push forward hard. I'm hoping he doesn't have any more. That's the that indirect is the bane of my infantry assault. I really just. <laughs> haphazardly just kind of stormed in. I usually try to at least position them in like places where they will get cover. I'm just ensuring that 107. Okay, so now where's my where's my Jagdpanzer? I knew he was going to begin doing exactly what he's doing. He's got his tank there. My Geburgjäger is taking the brunt of it. Uh, this isn't not my favorite Jagdpanzer. But he will, I think he will definitely do the job. Rapid firing position, gunner killed, good. Oh, I just gotta reinforce these guys. Let me double check my false stream Jaeger. In the meantime, I'm just gonna have these guys lock down and hunker down until I can move the right flank into position. I'm trying to make sure these guys, these guys are excellent anti infantry. Cause I get the MG34, um, as long as you're not moving, you have them stationary behind cover, the MG34 is great because you can just lay it down. And if we got another Sherman, let me see if I can get into position where he, my tank hunter can do his job. He's getting up way too, way too close, way, no, 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 he's going to turn around. Alright, do your job. Ah, oh, he's crushing them. Crushing them. Is that another mortar? I feel like... American mortars are, um... Lethal. <laughs> to say the least. Let me... I need to reinforce... My Fallschirmjäger. What is this? This looks like some sort of a supply drop. Doubt it's anything I can use. Recoilless rifle, that was an American supply drop. I just didn't have the opportunity to use it. Alright, I want I need to occupy this mortar nest, so I'm gonna run these. He's still reinforcing these. The airborne takes a lot longer to reinforce them. I recall it feels like. So while they are doing that, I'm gonna actually have to start capturing that point. Get back, get back, get back. I think that 100 and, um, what is it, a 107 millimeter mortar will help me a lot because it will completely it'll be a catastrophe to these guys in here. Especially with an incendiary around. That's a nice bonus. Uh, let's take out that 50 cal. Okay. Let me check on the status of this. I can move my mortar half track up. I think it's safe enough. And I think I can build. I don't think I have to worry too much about him anymore, but because my ally is using is really loving these headset tanks. Good tanks, but um not not quite not quite as powerful for my taste. I think the even the L48 I think is a little bit on the low end. I really like the uh, L70. Um and I actually have a lot of manpower points, but I don't really need them right now. That's how we dropped an incendiary round down there. Is it? Oops. Is it just... Oh, there's one guy in there. Okay. There we go, I got him. Now I can start moving the infantry up on the right. 
I can pull these guys out and give these guys a health kit real quick. Field medical kit, whatever. Move my Yag Pencer. Have him do his job on this. And you have another Sherman moving, moving out here, but he looks damaged. Rapid firing position. Okay, the infantry out. Fortified observation post. As long as it doesn't have so many kind of like anti tank. Even if it did, another nice feature of the Falschim Jaeger. Um, trying to keep these guys in cover. When they're in cover and they're not moving, um, devastating. Move these guys up a little bit closer. At least. Um, you guys are fine over on the side. I think I can move these guys up under partial. Tank hunter up. Move my half track mortar up. Check on my. These guys got hit with something. I'm not exactly sure what. In back. Make sure my tank hunter is able to um, protect my infantry. So, I'm gonna leave him where he is. Stop, stop. Rapid fire. See if he can start getting rounds off on I want him to use this hollow shell. Or hollow charge. Reinforcing these guys. Tank Hunter is still doing well. How's it going on the right? Double check the left. Is that Sherman? So the computer I noticed tends to play this forward and backwards game. Oh shit. Destroyed the barrel on there. Okay, so I'm gonna drop some Luftwaffe paratroopers for the sole purpose of repairing that um, vehicle. I have enough manpower points. I see how he does this forward and backwards thing. This little game he plays. I don't understand if it. I don't. Un, I don't know why he does that. He like rocks back and forth. Here. Something I do need to, to research is advanced repair in there. I need to make sure I protect this tank hunter. And looks like we got a panther out here too. That should help. My ally is repairing my vehicle too. Look at that. Just a complete curtain. My ally really went overboard with these these things. He did a, he did a pretty damn good job, I'd say. Probably maybe even better than me. I think I had maybe more on the defensive side of things, but not bad. I think it's just mob up now. See? This is weapons repaired. Get these false shenanigans up here on the left. Let's double check these guys. Do they have health kits? Health kits. I'm actually gonna have these guys out. Um, I was gonna have them assault that. I think for the most part, I kept these false shenanigans squads alive. I'm gonna put these guys in a very good defensive. If I can find some kind of cover here. That's, ah, that's what I was afraid of. These tanks coming out of there. There we go. And that was it. I think that actually went by not too bad. So let's look at the points here. Um, my ally got 13,000 more points than me. So. Maybe next time I'll drop him down because he did actually quite a bit of work, especially at the end. Uh, midway through, uh, it's up for debate, but definitely at the end, he did it a lot. Um, so let's look at the infantry scores. He killed a lot more infantry. I suffered, you know, less casualties, but um, he did kill a lot. Vehicles, 
I did destroy more vehicles and I lost much less. That's why I got more vehicle points, even though I wasn't building any. See, I produced seven. Most of those were probably like half tracks and stuff, with the exception of the one martyr and what, the two um, Yagpanzas? Um, then he built all those Hetzer tanks and Panzer IVs. I didn't even bother building any, any actually like tank, you know, turret tanks. Um, but yeah, so uh, historically, the uh, Fallschirm Jäger were pushed out um, of Carantan, so that was a that was an interesting scenario. I'd really like to do a scenario with maybe Fallschirm Jäger and the Ardennes, and I did find a really good Ardennes map um, that was in the winter because the Battle of the Bulge was um, during that brutal winter of 44, 45, and um, it actually was a winter map, however, there was something wrong with it, and the frame rate, I couldn't get a frame rate better than about 15, so um, every other map I have works great, so I don't have an answer for that. Um, but I'm sure we'll be doing more, and um, if you have any comments or suggestions, please throw it in, give me that thumbs up or thumbs down if you liked or disliked the video and thank you for watching.